We're going to begin tonight with the antiviral drug now seen as a promising weapon in the fight against COVID-19. A study by the National Institutes of Health found that remdesivir has a positive effect on recovery time for hospitalized patients. In on your side is Justin Shecker joining us now live in Tampa. And Justin, the, F, uh, the feds rather, have given this drug an emergency approval. Rod, good evening. That authorization from the FDA expands the ability of doctors to use this drug on the patients with the most severe cases of this virus, and not just those in clinical trials like the one in Sarasota. We're finally able to at least address this uh, with a medication that has hope. As part of a national clinical trial since mid-April, Sarasota Memorial Hospital is treating its sickest COVID-19 patients with the antiviral drug remdesivir. What it is proven is that a drug can block this virus. The Food and Drug Administration on Friday authorized the emergency use of the drug made by Gilead Sciences in the fight against coronavirus. Promising preliminary research found patients who received remdesivir recovered four days earlier than those given a placebo. The main question I get asked is, does it work? Medical Director of Clinical Research Dr. Kirk Volker says the results of the trial at Sarasota Memorial are still not known. He says his clinical team has given remdesivir to nine COVID-19 patients while none are receiving a placebo. Uh, in our trial, we're giving it to every patient um, who qualifies, uh, but they're sick. They're on mechanical ventilation. They're in the intensive care unit. SMH has been on the front line of the crisis in the Bay Area. At last check, 33 coronavirus patients are hospitalized, 22 have passed away, and 85 have been discharged since the outbreak began. With no cure or vaccine for COVID-19, clinical trials trying to identify treatments are critical. Uh, they've been working night and day to be able to provide this drug to patients uh, so that uh, people in the community of Sarasota can actually have potential treatment uh, for this virus. And the CEO of the company that makes remdesivir says this is, again, a treatment, not a cure for COVID-19. He says his company will donate 1 million vials of remdesivir to hospitals starting Monday. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side. Justin, thank you very much.